And hospitals all across South Florida are seeing a summer surge in COVID right now. The heat and record travel pushing people inside and closer together. Local 10's Andrew Perez is joining us live from Kendall with why this wave is hitting harder here at home. Andrew, what's happening? Well, there are several variables at play here, according to doctors, including the latest strain that we're seeing the most of this virus is highly transmissible and they need you to take precautions. Record travel across the country, indoor gatherings because of all the heat, both lending themselves to a summer surge of COVID. The scene playing out at hospitals all across South Florida. These tests are coming back positive and positive at like a higher rate. It really is back. Um, and we're seeing a lot more of it. Dr. Joel Haynes of HCA Florida Kendall Hospital says the strongest variant leading the pack is called KP.3. It definitely is a little bit more infectious than some of the more recent waves we've seen, which I think is why we're seeing such a high uptick um, in these numbers. While not as bad as two years back, the CDC reporting 21 states have, quote, very high levels of COVID right now. Tracking data isn't as specific as it used to be, but Florida is among those states seen in our wastewater data. It's important to take precautions. COVID itself has been lasting longer and longer, especially in people that have weakened immune systems. Different viruses are going to peak during different times of year. Dr. Marcos Mestre with Nicholas Children's Hospital says COVID seems to peak two times a year, affecting children just as much. The summer surge felt there too. Yeah, we saw in the month of July, just to give you an example, we hadn't seen this for quite some time. We had uh, 60 hospitalizations with children that did have uh, some component of COVID. He says fever and cough is something to keep an eye on, but there are times where more intervention might be needed. When you start seeing the more severe signs of respiratory distress, difficulty breathing, having a tough time uh, speaking or catching your breath, then at that point you want to come into the hospital. Isolating masks, making sure you're being careful around people that are high risk when they get this disease is really the most important thing because that's the subsection of the community that's going to be hit the hardest by this. And of course, the good news is that now we have so many more remedies, vaccines, treatments, but you're still encouraged to take those really well-known precautions and also talk to your doctor about your options. That's the latest here in Kendall. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News.